Put your shoulder to the wheel to supersize and grow your business. That's what we're going to chat about today. Putting your shoulder to the wheel is an expression that came about in the 1600s. An actual, a writer wrote about a gentleman who had gotten his wagon stuck in the mud. And in order to help the horses get it unstuck, he of course had to climb behind the wagon, put his shoulder into it, and help the horses to pull the wagon out of the mud. If you live uh, pretty much anywhere in this country, there's a possibility of getting a vehicle, a car perhaps, stuck in the mud or in my case in the snow and I've had lots of experience having to climb out get behind the car and help push a vehicle mine or someone else's out of a snowbank out of the ditch perhaps and all it means is that we're gonna have to put a lot of effort into something to begin moving it we're gonna have to work hard in the beginning and sometimes during certain phases of our business to get unstuck, to get over a hurdle, to get over an obstacle, to create what it is that we want. Any worthwhile goal, anything that we've wanted to accomplish in your life or our life, think back on your life. If I think back on my life, anytime I've achieved something that's a pretty big deal or a pretty big milestone, it's because I put my shoulder to the wheel and I had to overcome obstacles, overcome challenges, work hard in little phases to, to overcome each of those challenges to achieve the goal or the objective or to get the thing that I wanted. No different with our businesses. If we want our businesses to succeed and grow and supersize and scale, we have to have periods of time where we're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to put forth a lot of effort in order to see those, those projects through or the, to overcome those obstacles. Now, <clears throat> people like to it seems pretty popular nowadays it, a lot of gurus are talking about sacrifice sacrificing and to me sacrificing is different than putting your shoulder to the wheel sacrificing is giving up something that you don't want to give up in order to do and and get something else to me that's got total negative connotations and i'm not sacrificing anything i'm going to choose and if i'm choosing among alternatives then i am making a choice the choice that's right for me and that does not require a sacrifice um, so that's just my little thing on sacrifice. I just, it bothers me every time I hear somebody say, we're well, going to have to sacrifice to get that. No, you're not. Cause you know what? Going out and hanging out with your friends or hanging out with people that aren't moving in the same direction as you, that is not a sacrifice. If it's your choice, if it's your choice to work on a Friday night, it's your choice to work on a Friday night. It's not a sacrifice to not go out and hang out with your, with your bros or your, whatever they call them, bros or hoes. So it's not a sacrifice. It's a choice to to move your life in the direction you want it to move. And that, when we're starting a business especially, and as we're growing and scaling our businesses, there are gonna be periods of time, there's gonna be projects that require that we work hard, that we choose to put forth more effort to help them see the light of days, to help them get unstuck, to help them get out of the mud, because there's always gonna be mud when we're growing and, and building our businesses. There's always gonna be things that come up. There's always gonna be changes. There's always gonna be competition. There's always gonna be things that we can't possibly anticipate and nobody can help us to anticipate them. We just have to figure them out and deal with them as they arise. And that might require putting your shoulder to the wheel, putting your head down, putting your nose to the grindstone or whatever else to get what you need to get done, done. Uh, <clears throat> If anybody tells you that building a business is going to be a cakewalk from day one, you're just going to have an idea, you're going to, and everything's going to fall into place, and you're never going to have any challenges, or you know, it's not going to be hard some days. There aren't going to be days that you want to quit. They're absolutely positively lying to you and setting you up for failure. <clears throat> the reason the vast majority of businesses don't succeed isn't because people don't have great ideas. It isn't because they don't. Um, have what it takes it's because they don't believe that they have what it takes and they're willing to quit or they're not willing to to figure it out they're not willing to try and do and keep on trying and putting their shoulder to the wheel whenever it's necessary to create what it is that they want <clears throat> you know um, on our in our businesses sorry about that <coughs> slept in today <laughs> In our businesses and in our life, anything that we want is going to require that we put effort toward it. And I have, I have firmly believe that we get out of everything, our life and our businesses, our relationships, everything, ourselves, what we put into it. 
What we put into anything is what we receive in return. If I put a lot of effort and a lot of energy and a lot of um, desire and vision and smart work behind something, I'm going to get more out of it than if I just put a little half-ass effort into it. Think about anything that you've wanted. If you wanted uh, to hire a, a new employee or bring a new person on board of your team, how much effort did you put into getting the exact person that you wanted? If you put a lot of effort into it, it was probably, you probably got the right person. You probably got a good outcome to that project. If you put a little bit of effort into it or you delegated it to your um, HR team and you didn't have anything to do with it, chances are it wasn't necessarily the perfect fit for you and for your business and for your organization um, because you didn't put much effort into it. Certain things in growing and scaling our businesses require that we personally Put a lot of effort into it maybe it's just painting a clear picture of the vision for everyone else and and continually reinforcing that vision maybe it's getting our hands dirty jumping in with the engineering team and helping them to solve a problem that they're having a challenge overcoming and leading them through the process of figuring out the possible solutions to that challenge maybe it's you know it's going to be different for each of us and it's going to be different day in and day out and it's going to be different as your business grows and scales and to be honest it gets easier the less you have to put your shoulder to the wheel as you grow and scale your business, as you put systems and processes and procedures and bring resources and people into your organization, it requires less of you physically and mentally putting your shoulder to the wheel, but it still requires that you lead that process. So if you think hard work and working and effort is ever going to go away, it, it doesn't go away as your business grows and scales and supersizes. It just changes and the things that you work on the problems and the obstacles that you encounter become different. That's it. Give your best every single day and I guarantee you will have better results than you ever dreamt possible. I'll of course be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Go out, grow your business. Do at least one thing today to put your shoulder to the wheel and move your business ahead. Bye.